Hello everyone, I am Asma Mushtaq from the WE Vibes and here I am again with an other tutorial of the PIC microcontroller programming and in this tutorial you will learn how to interface the LCD with the PIC microcontroller but before that you need to understand about the pins of the LCD. So here you can see I am having a simple LCD which is 16 cross 2 LCD and what does it mean? By 16 cross 2 means 16 characters can be displayed in a single line and overall two lines are present for the display so a single line is capable to display 16 characters fine now looking at the pins at the LCD the first two pins are marked as K and A most of the LCDs have these pins these two pins are used for the backlight of LCD so if you want to turn on the backlight of the LCD you will be using these two pins here A represents the anode and K represents the cathode so plus 5 volts will be provided at the A pin while the cathode is grounded fine then the next 8 pins of the LCD are marked from D0 to D7 which means that the data that you want to display on the LCD is actually provided on these pins. So these are basically used for the data lines. Fine. So we have covered these two pins, then eight pins, one, two, three. Okay. The remaining pins are enable pin, read write, and then the RS pin. And you must have a very clear idea before using the LCD because the configuration of these three pins is very important. So the first pin which is named as the enable. What does it mean? Whenever you have to issue a particular command or if you want to issue the data to an LCD, you need to send a high to low pulse at the enable pin. Fine. And how you can do that? You can connect it with any pin of a particular port. Fine. First you will set it. Then introduce a little delay. And then you will clear the pin. In this way a high to low pulse can be sent on the enable pin of the LCD. And one thing that is very important regarding to the pulse width of the enable pin is that its duration should be at least of 250 millisecond if you send a delay oh sorry if you send an a pulse lesser than this time period then your lcd will not be able to display the data on its screen fine so this is the minimum pulse width of this enable pin that you need to send on it now moving to next we have read slash write pin and generally either we are issuing certain kind of the command or the data basically we are writing into this lcd so that's why we make it equal to zero since the write function is actually active low so when you will send zero logic over here the lcd will be in the writing mode which means you are writing into the LCD it can be data or it can be the commands fine we will discuss what is meant by the commands when we will start discussing about the RS pin RS pin stands for the register select pin so this register select pin has very important role if rs is equal to 0 then command register of the lcd is selected and if rs is equal to 1 it means data register is selected fine for better understanding what is meant by the command register is selected we actually configure the lcd before issuing data to it 
okay what is meant by the configuration by the configuration we mean that first of all we have to inform the assembler or compiler uh, what type of the lcd you are going to use fine and if your lcd is of two lines and five by seven met of matrix then you will issue the command 38 hex to it so when you will issue this command 38 hex to the lcd it will let the controller know that you are using a 16 cross 2 lcd or fine then the next command that you can issue to the lcd is the clear the display screen which means if you had some previously data displayed you need to clear it fine so you will issue 0 1 hex then after that you need to issue the 0 e hex which means display is on and cursor is on so this is basically the cursor then you will power up the lcd obviously this cursor cursor should start displaying it will actually keep blinking and the next command is from where you want to display the data so for this particular lcd 16 rows to uh, the address line for the first line is 80 hex while for the second line is c0 hex and if you want to display the character at the beginning of the first line then you will issue 80 hex command if you want to display the character at the second position you will have to issue 81 so it's for 80 hex 81 hex 82 83 so depending upon where you want to display the character either in between of the first line or at the beginning of the first line or even if you want to display the character at the beginning of the second line you need to issue the corresponding command fine so if i want to display my character in the second row and at the fourth place so i will have to write c3 so c3 means starting from c0 c1 c2 c3 and c3 so at the fourth position my characters or my data will start displaying so this was all about the particular commands that you actually issue for configuring the lcd all right now what is meant by the data register so whenever you are issuing 38 hex then 01 hex then 0 e hex these are all the commands that are actually being issued to the lcd for its configuration for setting the lcd after configuring the lcd what you need to do you need to actually issue the data that you want to display on the lcd all right and for that you will make rs is equal to 1 so basically what we need to do for the command routine whenever you are issuing the commands to the lcd you need to send high to low pulse fine so send high to low pulse at the enable pin read write will be equal to zero and then rs is equal to zero these are the settings for issuing the commands to the lcd and when you have to send the data to the lcd then what you need to do again you have to send a high to low pulse at the enable pin okay read write again will be equal to zero because we are actually writing the data into the lcd and rs will be equal to one for selecting the data mode of the lcd now the question is when we use the read signal or when we make r slash write bar equal to one this is the case when you want to issue the data or uh, to the lcd without introducing the delays or if you are using the busy flag of the lcd before issuing the data then we send the lcd in the reading mode and what it does basically it basically reads the status of the d7 pin of the lcd and then if it is low it will it send the next character to be displayed on the lcd so basically this is all about the lcd pins okay now 
we have discussed so far these pins like the register select read write enable data pins anode and cathode three pins are yet to be discussed the first one is the vdd then vss and then ve e so vss is grounded fine vdd is connected with 5 volts while what is meant by vee vee is used for controlling the contrast or the brightness of the led and what we do basically we use a potentiometer for controlling the contrast of the L lcd so basically what we do here we will be using a variable resistor whose one terminal is grounded while other is connected with the power supply and its variable terminal or wiper is actually connected with the VEE. In this way, it will be controlling the contrast of the LCD. So let me show you what I have built actually. Here is the circuitry. Uh, it's more like a mess, but here you can see I have actually connected all the pins of the LCD with the microcontroller. And here is the potentiometer variable resistor that I will be using for controlling the contrast of the LCD. Okay, so here you can see this is the variable potentiometer and what I was talking about controlling the contra contrast. See, if I vary the resistance, then the LCD basically starts displaying the characters and ultimately it starts dimming. So this is the value where we should set the variable potentiometer and in this way how you actually control the contrast of LCD. So the role of the VE is very important if you do not apply the appropriate voltages at the E terminal sorry VE terminal then obviously you will not be able to display the data on the LCD fine and the code plus the other steps how to actually import the code into the microcontroller is all discussed on the link that I have provided in the description. Thank you for watching.